It is uh, 2018 Miami Music Week, and we are joined on the couch here with uh, Aiden and uh, uh, Josh. Josh and, and <laughs> Phoenix Paul. They are here, and guys, welcome to Miami 2018 Music Week. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a blast so far. It's been a hell of a 2018 for you guys. you got a lot going on. you got the new single. you got yep. a whole lot of collabs coming up. Tell us about it. Uh, yeah, we sort of hit the ground running this year pretty quick. I think we've released four singles yeah, already and you know, last year we probably didn't release as much as we wanted to and we had all these like back catalog of tracks and then it was interesting because we got here on thursday and we we're just going to a few pool parties and we heard four of our new like songs yeah. at different parties and we we're like man like you know we're doing something right yeah or we're just releasing so much music that it's swamping people whatever we don't care but um yeah it's going really well we're really happy with where we're at and um we've just got so much more music to come so yeah. And you got a bunch of collabs that you guys are going to be doing. Tell us about it. Yeah, uh, we're working on something right now with Benny Benassi and uh, Tommy Trash. Um, yeah, a bunch of stuff coming out, and we're really excited about it. Now, wh have you guys noticed th there's a difference between radio versions, club versions? Right? Yeah. Have you guys noticed that? So how do you guys approach that when, when you're in the studio and trying to keep that in mind? It's funny because we have our own label, and I have to make a lot of the radio edits for the tracks. So... I mean, we think about it, but at the same time, we just want to make, like, the best music. And, we're, look, we're DJs, producers as well, obviously, but we want to be able to play the music out. So, to be honest, we'll just make a, a club mix, and then we'll just start cutting it down from the audio. I mean, it's not, like, a process that we think about too much because, you know, most of the time, like... But even, like... Sorry to cut you off because you were just blabbering as usual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we don't married really... couple. Yeah, even club, club tracks these days, even for us, are, you know, three to four minutes. So, right. you know what I mean? Like... Yeah. Back in the day when we started DJing, which is shit, like 15 years ago. 25 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> but you get, you know, back then we were making six, seven minute tracks. Right. And now it's, you know, it's three, four minutes. We just, we just played a song out there. It was like an old one. We just wanted to play a bit of a throwback. And it was like seven minutes long. And we're like, after two minutes, we're like, man, I'm getting kind of over this already. So, you know, times have changed a bit. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, you mentioned that it was 100 years ago you guys met. How did you guys meet? Like, how, how did this all start? My family actually back home in Melbourne in Australia. My my dad my dad was a dentist, but he owned a nightclub. <laughs> Randomly, like every good dentist. Yeah, and yeah. when I when I finished high school, uh, you can drink in Australia at eighteen. So I went. Uh, I was working at the club, and then I was, went from a busboy to a, uh, a bartender to a DJ. And Aiden was a promoter then. We just became mates and. I was not a good promoter. Not a good promoter at all. Not a good promoter and, in, and a below average DJ. <laughs> but we still became friends and now we're here. We're here in Miami. Like, this is, it's pretty amazing. It's amazing. It, it time flies. And Miami uh, Music Week, how long have you guys been, uh, been coming here to Miami now? Uh, since 2011, 12? Yeah. 2012. Yeah, so even like you, because the industry changes so fast. Yeah, it does. Uh, you know, year after year, it changes fast. So um, when you've come to Miami, have you. Notice that progression year after year. It's just like yeah, wow, for sure. it's getting crazier and crazier. It's, um, it's always crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Too many yeah, and things. Yeah, <laughs> it happens. Eleven wasn't there, right? When we first got when here. When you first came. It's more of yeah. a new thing. But when, that's the progression of Miami. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah Miami's its own its yeah. own world. So you got the collabs coming up and what are you gonna be doing for, for the rest of uh, Miami Music Week? What do you got planned? Uh we just I mean we just finished playing here at the Amada party mm -hmm. and we had a blast as always and we're just gonna chill here, I think, and have a few more tequila shots. And what happens uh, <laughs> now next week moving forward? You guys back in the studio? You heading back to Mel? Where are you guys? Yeah, going? We, we're going back in the studio. Then we're going. We live in LA now, mm -hmm. but then we're, we're touring Australia uh, in a few couple of weeks. Right. Yeah, so we got three or four shows in Australia, and then back to LA. Great stuff. Yeah. All right. Keep and busy. Give them the information on the single and all the good stuff where they can reach you. Everything at Phoenix Paul. Um, new singles. So yeah, just. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and the new collabs. When can we expect those? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, 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 probably, yeah, no, no, probably yeah. around. He's waving his hands and giving me the finger yeah, right yeah. now. So He's I'm like, assuming that's not a good question. No, no, no. Yes. no. <laughs> I'm assuming we'll eighty-six that. Yeah, yeah, no <laughs> problem at all there. Phoenix Paul, guys, uh, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks so much for having Miami us. Miami loves you. Come back again real soon, man. Appreciate it, mate. You thank you. It.